Edward Vertinian. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you are have been waiting for. AC League proud to present the main event of the evening. Three five minute rounds, welterweight contest. Introducing to you officials. Head judge, Sergei Wysokowski, Poland. Judges at cage side, Lukasz Parepski, Poland. Viktor Karneev, Ivan Jurevich, Andrei Kovalev, Russia. Your timekeeper, chronometrist, Amir Gitinov, Russia, Russia. And when the whistle blows, your referee judge, Lukasz Bosatsky, Poland. Итак, дамы и господа на трибунах. Миллионы фанатов смешанных боев во всем мире. В прямом эфире с Вау-арены главный бой вечера ACA Sochi. Ladies and gentlemen and attendants and the millions of MMA fans joining us around the world live from Wow-arena ACA main bout Sochi. Представляю вам соперников и первым бойца в синем углу. Introducing to you first fighting out of the blue corner. Бойцу 34 года. Рост 180 сантиметров. Вес 76,7 килограмма. Он специалист по бразильскому джиу-джитсу с профессиональным рекордом. 17 побед, 5 поражений. Ladies and gentlemen, he is 34 years old, standing 180 centimeters tall, weighing at 76.7 kilos. He is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist with professional record seven victories and five losses. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Sao Paulo, Brazil, here is Elias Silverio. И его соперник в красном углу клетки. And his opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner. Айсу 30 лет. Рост 175 сантиметров, вес 77 и 15 сотых килограмма. Он также специалист по бразильскому джиу-джитсу с профессиональным рекордом. 29 побед, 11 поражений. Ladies and gentlemen, he is 30 years old. He stands 175 centimeters tall, official weight 77.15 kilos. He is Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist. His professional record consisting of 29 victories against 11 defeats. Дамы и господа, из Баксана, Россия, приветствуйте! Алди Шалк Бока! Лукаш Басецки is a referee in charge. And here are the final instructions. The time. When I say stop, we stop. Даже глаз. Go back to your corners. And here is the tail of the tape. Elias Silverio is four years older, five centimeters taller. So let's see it. Ali Bagov is very, very dangerous in his wrestling skills. He always comes forward, he always pushes forward. And if Ali Bagov makes a takedown, and he gets the top position. Practically, practically nobody, nobody can get out. It's really, really hard to do. Uh, just like I told you, Ali Bagov is, is an ex-ACA world champion. And actually, he lost his title in his last fight against Murad Abdullayev due to a unanimous decision. And now, Ali Bagov is willing to get back that title shot but so far he needs to defeat a very tough guy from Brazil Silverio Silverio is a very very experienced fighter the ex UFC fighter and uh, you saw that in his interview that he said that uh, he realizes all the strength of Ali Bagov. He knows his advantages and disadvantages and he will try to use them in his favor. So far, a lot of working in clinch. 
but the fighters try to stay active, to stay busy. Ali Bagov produces some short punches and a good takedown by the Russian. That is exactly what I was talking about. If Ali Bagov puts you down, be ready for trouble. Nice connection with the right hand and again from Ali Bagov. And with every second, Ali Bagov will increase that pressure. Ali Bagov traps his opponent's legs in Khabib Nurmagomedov style. We all remember Khabib Nurmagomedov fighting like that with uh, Adson Barbosa, with the whole difference. Just Adson Barbosa could not release from that grip, but Silverio. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see what Silverio will do in this position, but Ali Bagov wants to put the opponent back, uh, uh, wants, to, uh, wants to put the opponent on his back. Two minutes to go in the first round, and so far Ali Bagov stays on top, giving some good shots to the body into the head of Silverio. The guard is open. Silverio tries to scramble, tries to escape, but once again Ali Bagov demonstrates a perfect control. But still, Silverio is able, sitting in this position, to fight back. 90 seconds to go. Well, actually, this is the particular work of Ali Bagov. He always does that. But speaking about the improvement of Ali Bagov, uh, recently Ali Bagov only, uh, was only a wrestler. He just came closer, shortened the distance, took the opponent down, controlled him, beat him, and so on and so forth. But uh, Ali Bagov improved his striking abilities and his striking skills. And uh, at the beginning of the fight, he tries to work on the stance to produce some big shots. 40 seconds to go in the first. Good elbow from Bagov and Silverio responds immediately. Another one. So far, the guys are not willing to get up. They are just exchanging, sitting on the canvas and just exchanging, beating each other with elbows and punches. The opponents smile to each other. Well, they really enjoy the process. They really enjoy the first round. But I'm not sure that the spectators enjoyed it. Well, I remind you that Ali Bagar was uh, the AC lightweight champion, but not long ago he decided to change the weight category because it, because it is really hard for him to cut the weight. You see how athletic he is, how big he is, and of course, he had to lose more than 10 kilos before the fight. And of course, the main thing for him was to recover. And it was really, really hard for him. So that's why he decided to change the weight category and to fight in the welterweight division. And he has already suffered one defeat in the 77 kilograms. So. Round Let's two. get back to the Come fight, on. and here is the round number two. The front kick from Ali. So there he is, so far steps back. 
And a flying kick from Ali Baka. And forward he comes again. Good grip. A body lock from Ali Baga. And a perfect chance to take down. Yes, he does. But Silverio gets up immediately and gets the initiative back. Now Silverio is in control. A single leg take down the tap. And down goes Ali Baga. Well, that's wondering. We don't see such a situation very often when Ali Bagov is on his back, defending himself. He closed the guard. And now let's see what Silvero is going to do in this position. I remind you that he is a BJJ practitioner. He's a BJJ specialist and uh, he likes to stay on top. Alibaga fights back, staying in this position, trying to hit the opponent with both hands. And I see that Alibaga Ali wants to push the opponent off. And you see that uh, Alibaga hits the opponent with the open fist and these hits are legal actually I think that Silvero is not active enough just staying in control and to my mind Ali Bagov produces much more shots than the opponent Silvero tried to pass the guard but Bagov Nice defense from Ali Bakov again, but Silverio is pretty persistent in passing the guard. But so far, there are not many shots from the Brazilian fighter. Just trying to show himself in wrestling and grappling. But I'd like to mention, and I would like to point on the fact that Ali Bagaf is really, really good at defending himself in this position. He manages to block the opponent's shots, block his hands. Oh, nice, very nice, and it could be a triangle. Maybe, triangle submission, no. Silverio wasn't controlling, he saw everything and did not let that happen. Ali Bagov again pushes the opponent off. He tries to get out of this position and he does it. Ali Bagov is on his feet now and comes forward. Oh, look at that exchange. And Silverio fires back. Ali Bagov actually did not want to continue that exchange and immediately shortened the distance, sticking to his game plan, to, to the game plan that he used to and to the game plan that he always uses in his fights. One minute to go in the second round, and down they go, and now Silvero is on top. The perfect position for the Brazilian to improve. Nice control is shown by Silvero, and now he tries to pass the guard and get onto the full mount. Now the south mount, uh, side mount control. Now a big opportunity for Silverio to use the elbow strikes, but Ali Bagov realizes that and he tries to block. Twenty seconds in the second round. I I'm looking at Silverio's corner and I see how emotional his corners are. They are shouting, they are on their feet. Uh, I think that they can, they barely protect themselves of uh, getting into the cage, of jumping into the cage. Well, the second round is over, and to my mind, the fight is pretty close. This is a very important fight.
quite a bow. Just like I told you that Alibaga and uh, Silverio, they suffered the defeats in their previous fights. So now they need to prove everybody. And of course, they need to prove to the ACA promotion that they still have ambitions, the championship ambitions. So that's why they are more than motivated to get the win today. So the break is over and we are about to have third and decisive, to my mind, decisive round. Round three, the final round. Here we go. A high kick from Ali Bagov. The jab to the body from Silverio. Ali Bagov pushes forward, steps forward. And another takedown from Ali Bagov. No, Silverio stands up immediately. And the clinch. Good, very good move from Ali Bagov. Once again, he is on top. Not for the first time in this fight. And a perfect position for Ali Bagov to use the elbow strikes. And you hear the crowd, you, see the, uh, you hear the spectators and the supporters who are wearing the national costumes. Silverio trapped Ali Bagov's right hand and trapped it tight. So tight that Ali Bagov cannot release it, but still Ali Bagov has the second hand and you see a big cut on Silverio's face. The Brazilian tries to stand up using the fence, using the cage. Bagov wants to control the opponent leg. Bagov punches the opponent to the body into the head with the right hand, trying to stay active. Nice connection with the left hand by Ali Bagov, and what a mistake from the Russian, and Silverio is on top now. Wow, that was pretty, pretty unexpected. Looks like a butterfly guard from Ali Bagov, and, he, and now he tries to push. Silverio off. Tries to create some distance to get up. And a big shot to the body from Ali Bagov and half of the round passed. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the round in this round and in this fight. And so far Ali Bagov is defending himself and it's not good for him. And this could be it. The triangle choke attempt. But so far there is no grip. Maybe an armbar. No, Silverio defends himself perfectly, 100% sure. And Ali continues to fight back using the hammer fists. And again, the triangle choke grip, but once again it was broken by Silverio. Ali, Ali, the crowd is shouting, cheering, supporting Ali Bagaf. I wonder what Silvero is going to do in this position, how he is going to improve, what is he going to produce. So far there are no strikes, just one. So far, there are no submission attempts. Silvero is in control, that's true. He's on top, and he gives some rare shots. And here comes the triangle again. No, no way. Okay. 
50 seconds to go, Ali Bakov continues fighting back, staying on the ground, but hitting the opponent with both hands. Salverio releases, releases his leg, and now he tries to another. And once again, we see a butterfly guard from Ali Bagov. Ten seconds. Ali Bagov fights hard. Some crisp shots from Ali Bagov, and a sack control from Salverio. And you hear the tum tums. And this is it for now. And I think that Silverio gets the third round. How did the guys work in this fight and uh, in the last round? And I look at Ali Baga's face and I think that, and it tells to me that uh, he is a little bit disappointed with his performance. Well, this is the tactics of Ali Baga, actually. He always fights like that. And uh, he doesn't care if it is spectacular or not if it is tremendous or not. The main goal for him, the main aim for him is to get the win, despite of everything. And let's see if he will seal another victory. Some of, the, uh, some of these fighters now will get the second loss in a row. hear it from Alexander Zagorski who is about to appear on the cage and to announce the decision. Главного боя вечера обратимся к судейским запискам. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end, the main bout of the evening, we go to the Georgia scorecards. Судьи 1, 2, 3 и 4 одинаково оценили этот бой 29-28. Georgia's 1, 2, 3 and 4 are in agreement, scoring the same 29 to 28. И судья 5, 30-27. George 5, 30-27. Таким образом, Единогласным решением судей победу одержал and your winner by unanimous decision Ali!